My grandpa, Steve Nelson, went to junior high a long time ago. Can you imagine school life in the early 1960s? Steve Nelson is a 68-year-old retired dentist who lives in Dousman. I picked my dad's dad because he spends a lot of time with me, and he's pretty cool. When I was little, he always gave me ice cream and told me stories about when he was young. Steve went to Highland Junior High in Grand Rapids, Michigan in the early 1960s. He didn't mind being in school. It was just too long to sit still, he said. He's always been a nervous guy. He didn't like his locker because it was too small for all of his stuff. I guess he had a lot. He said math was his least favorite class because Mr. Carver was mean to everyone. He loved lunchtime. He wished it would last an hour instead of only 25 minutes. It was the best time for him to see his friends. Steve loved football at his junior high. He was a linebacker and he was their kicker. His best friend was Dave Beasley. They did everything together. They still talk every week. I think that's pretty cool. Steve said he liked girls even back then and fell in love with Wendy Nichols in eighth grade. She is not my grandmother. My grandpa and I are two the same. I love my grandpa. Spent a lot of time with him even now. My grandpa's advice for me was to stay in school. He said, rely on good friends and hang out with the ones that uh, you like and be there when they need help and help them. Play sports or have hobbies that you really love. Be a good teammate and friend, everyone you know, because they'll be good friends back. Steve said, get good grades, or at least do the best you can. Always try. Definitely graduate in high school. Don't let anything stop you from that. And then go to college if you wish to. But most of all, find something you love and make it your goal, your passion. I guess my grandpa loves teeth because he was a dentist for 30 years. <laughs> in conclusion, Steve Nelson has lived a great life. I love him and I hope one day to be just like him. And I know he's proud of me. I'm proud of him.